Welcome back trainers and in this video I'm very happy to showcase to you guys my legacy Nido King in the Kanto Cup in Go Battle League but not only that alongside Shadow Nido Queen we got the pair together we're going to be going into these battles with uh, Lolan Muck alongside them to protect them from potential psychic users so as you see here we have a Blastoise tell me how many times you personally run into a Blastoise in the lead for the Kanto Cup. Yes, it is going to be used, but how many times do you see it up in that number one spot? Personally, for me, when I did put these two ground types uh, in my team, then I ran into two of them in the beginning. Absolutely amazing. So let's see if I can work around this, and let's see how many wins I can get using Shadow Nido Queen and Nido King together here. All right, so they're going to be swapping into their Venusaur here. And the key for me is to pay attention to that switch clock. So we can switch our Nido King. We're good to go here. But we want to stay in this battle because this is a good matchup for us. They're going down. They have no more shields left. We're able to get to a Dark Pulse. But they're able to get to the Hydro Cannon. So what we're going to hopefully be able to do here is farm them down with Fury Cutter. And we're good to go. So since we do have energy, this thing hits hard. And we have a Charizard. I got a little nervous. I was like, I don't know if Sludge Wave is going to do... The trick and KO, but it absolutely KOs the Charizard. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Let's go. All right. So for the next battle, we have another stinking Blastoise. Do you see what I'm talking about with this algorithm nonsense? There's absolutely one. I never run into a double Blastoise in the lead like this back to back or in the lead in general. So they're going to be swapping after they get out that Hydro Cannon. We're going to be going for our Earth Power here. And it is going to be doing a ton of damage to that Wigglytuff. We're swapping into our Nido King here. Don't know if that was the best decision. And a little lag there, but we're able to farm down beautiful Fury Cutter. Bug type is not very effective to fairies. So it's it's a good thing that we're able to even farm it down there. We have a ton of energy. In comes Blastoise. Super effective with a quick move. We're able to get to another Earth Power. Let's go, guys. The Nido Queen and King combo is absolutely incredible. Getting their second shield here. They're taking us down. They're farming us. But we still do have the... Alolan Muck, but we're going to be going in with the Nido Queen. They're swapping into their uh, Alolan Ninetales here. We're going to go ahead and go for that Earth Power. It is not going to KO, but we're going to be swapping immediately in hopes that we can farm this Alolan Ninetales down here. We're going to have to use our shield, and I was getting a little bit nervous that they were going to have a Hydro Cannon ready to go. So let's see if we're going to be able to get off our charge move first, and we're able to. We have two of those back to back. Not necessary, but we're able to take that win with a horrible lead yet again. Let's go, trainers into the next battle here starting it off with shadow needle queen the entire time we're met with another water type are you stinking kidding me what's going on here okay so uh guess we're just gonna have to shield this up get off our charge and then potentially swap it to uh, alolan muck we'll see how we do play this out here so going for that earth power stone edge would have done a ton looks like we're gonna just stay in here they're getting off their energy we're gonna absolutely let this go through we don't want to use two shields right now we need a Nido king with a shield or a muck depending on the situation so going in here with the muck and we're gonna go ahead and go for that dark pulse and not you know uh they're within farm range so i think we're gonna go ahead and shield this up and try to farm them down if we're lucky enough to they might get off another charge move yes they're able to unfortunately but coming out of this we're gonna have a bunch of energy but we're very low uh but not you know low enough to take us out in one shot so we're gonna be able to do something here in comes their own muck so this is getting a little tricky we're gonna go ahead and go for the uh sludge wave here and swapping gaining a little bit more energy and they're gonna be swapping into wigglytuff and we're going to go ahead and go with the Earth Power here. Hopefully get a shield. I think we can get to another charge move before they can get to a charge move. Because it takes forever to get to one with Wigglytuff and Charm. So we're going to be going for Earth Power here. No shields. And can we farm it down? Oh, that's so that's okay. Because what we're going to be able to do is potentially go in here with the Muck. And we're going to be able to farm just a little bit more. And are we going to be able to get to the charge first? And oh man. Okay, so... I don't think we could have won that regardless, even if we went for Sludge Wave, because this muck does have energy. Fury Cutters, you know, could have added up. Um, who knows? Nonetheless, we took a loss there. Good game. All right, moving it into the next battle here, we're met with a Tentacruel. And this is, <laughs> this is an interesting battle. It kind of threw me off a little bit. So we're going to be going for the Earth Power, and I don't know if they didn't... If they skip the shield and they're like, yeah, forget it. But they back out and I get a win there. So, yeah, I mean, it takes a, it takes a while to get to Hydro Pump. Who knows what they had in the back? Maybe they're just like, forget it. 
at that point. But anyways, into the next battle, we have a Polyrath. So this is another water type in the beginning. So that's all water types. Do you see this, guys? All of them. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So let's see if we can play this out. This is not good. Polyrath is going to absolutely destroy and annihilate this team. Good up against the Alolan Muck. Good up against uh, Nido King. Good up against uh, Shadow Nido Queen. All right. So going to go ahead and shield this up. They hit me with a dynamic. Very nice. Very tricky. So they do have Hydro Pump and Dynamic Punch. They're going to be swapping into their Hypno here. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Alolan Muck immediately. Getting a few more Furry Cutters. I think it was because I just didn't tap on the Muck correctly there. And let's see what they're going to hit me with. Say Thunder Punch. Okay, no problem. Building up a little bit of extra energy here. And let's see if they uh, let this go through. They only have one more shield left. Right, we have zero. Can we pull back from this? They have a Rapid Ash back there. We had another Water type lead, folks. Are we going to be able to do it again with the Shadow Nido Queen and the Legacy Nido King? So they're going to be using that last shield here. This is going to definitely take us out. Expecting a Flame Charge. But there's no need to go for a Drill Run. Might as well boost their attack at this point. So that um, Rapid Ash is kind of a problem. In comes the Polyrath, thinking that they could take me out. We farm it a little bit. And we're going to be able to take out this Rapid Ash with Nido Queen. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Loving this team, guys. I did use them on stream, and I was only able to win. I think I, I went for an entire set using it. I only got one win. Uh, again, we had horrible leads, and you know it is it is what it is. This is my first time using it. This is not my you know second set, third set. As a matter of fact, it is my second set of the day, but I did use a different Pokemon, which we're going to be looking at in another video that I will be uploading probably later. Uh, so yeah, fantastic. We're met with a Snorlax here. So this is you know. Could be worse, could be worse. Uh, getting to the Earth Power here. Hopefully we might be able to get to the defense drop because that is a possibility. They're letting it go through and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and shield this up and farm you down, Snorlax. Uh, thank you for letting that go through. What do you have back there that you let that go through? They're gonna be coming in with a Polyrath. So straight to the Earth Power here because Stone Age is not very effective to fighting. And we're just gonna see if we can lower the defense. No defense lowered, that's okay. I feel like they do have Hydro Pump and Dynamic Punch. That's what most uh, Polyrasts are going to be running for the Kanto Cup. So that goes to the Dynamic Punch. Not very effective. Able to get to a Earth Power here. And this will do a ton of damage if it does get through here. So you're going to be using that last shield and then farming us. Oh, actually, we're going to be swapping. So they have Hydro Pump. We're going to expect a Hydro Pump here. Don't know if that was the best swap in. Probably not at all. And we're able to get to a Dark Pulse. This is going to take them out. Whatever they do have back there is going to be able to farm us a little bit. We have the Needle King. Can it pull it off for us? They're able to get that didn't KO. And they're able to get to a charge move. Actually, it's okay. At least we're going to be able to get a little bit of farm here with the Needle King. So a couple of Fury Cutters there. And we have a Alolan Marowak. GG's. We won. Needle King's going to be able to hit this Earth Power. We're going to be able to take the win. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Or is it over? Oh, is it over? No, it's not going to KO us. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care, traders.
Mm-hmm.